I'm Bill. I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage and welcome the 2021 RS660 on the lift for its very first maintenance. Now, I'm very big on maintenance. I do my own maintenance on the fleet of motorcycles that we have and I'm a firm believer of getting the initial oil out of the bike within the first couple hundred miles and getting fresh oil in there. Let it run for a couple more hundred miles. Get it out again. Let's get all the metal shavings out of this thing and keep the oil nice and clean. Now, I've been doing this for 20 plus years of riding and I've never had a major engine catastrophic failure. I've never had any major engine issues. So I think it's working. So uh, we are at 200 miles on the Aprilia already, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be going out for another ride tomorrow. So stick around because there's gonna be tons of content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring that bell notification. Bell, bell notification is gonna tell you when the modifications to this thing is gonna start happening. We've already got a few bolt-on things done to this thing. But today I'm gonna to walk you guys through and I'm gonna take you guys on the journey of getting the oil changed on the Aprilia. Now, I've done a little bit of research and HSBK does have oil filters. So I've ordered two oil filters from them and two crush washers from them. It uses 2,600 cc, so 2.6 liters of synthetic 1050 weight. Now, I've got a Motul, I had an empty 1550, but I put the, uh, uh, the 1050 in there because we just did the oil change on the Ducati. And so I've got 2,600 cc's of synthetic 1050 oil ready to go in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the bottom part of the bike apart and see how hard this oil change is. I think it's pretty simple, but I have to tell you the truth. I haven't been able to identify where the drain plug is. So let's get the chassis cam on and uh, let's see how hard it is to get the oil changed on the all new 2021 RS660. All right, so I think <laughs> it is gonna be a pretty simple removal of this bottom piece. We're gonna remove both of the bottom pieces. Uh, we're working with the four millimeter hex nut. So we'll go ahead and pull these little hex nuts out. There looks like there's three on the side here. And I think we're gonna go to the other side and I don't think we even have to undo the bottom. So let's go ahead to the other side and let's see if just removing these three, again, one, And voila, we can actually just pull the whole bottom fairing off. So very nice, thank you Aprilia for that. Uh, so let's set this aside here. And let's start investigating. So we've got our drain plug here and our oil filter here. I think we're gonna be able to get a clean shot here. So let's get the camera set up on the other side and pull the drain plug out, which is right again, right here get this off we're cold we've been cold for some time now so uh let's go ahead and set this camera up and get this thing drained out all right so right here is an eight millimeter hex nut so we'll go ahead and crack this thing loose oh ooh, mama all right make sure you have some rags make sure you've got a little clean area and uh Let's get ready to flow, baby. All right, so not too much uh, metal on it, just a little bit of metal fragments on there. But this is why we change our oil. We wanna make sure we get this drain plug uh, nice and clean. And uh, I think the, uh, uh, here's the, the washer is falling out already. So we're always going to use, always, please always use a new crush washer. So we'll get this nice and clean, but let's go ahead and get this pan moved over. And let's see about this oil filter. Thank you. 
All right, and let's see if we get a straight shot down and we miss the bottom bearing. Oh, looks good. Looks good. So we're not going to let this thing drop. Keep an eye on the threading. And right when we get to the end, we're going to tip it upwards and then hand it out. So we're going to tip it upwards. And there we go. All right, so go ahead and let this just basically drain out the remainder for, yeah, maybe five minutes. And then wipe everything down, get it all cleaned up. And then we'll throw the new filter on and we'll throw the new cleaned drain plug with new washer. All right, so as you can see, we basically just down to the final drips. Always make sure on your old filter that you've got this old gasket on the old filter. If it is off the old filter, okay, it may be stuck up there and you don't wanna double gasket it, okay? So always make sure your old filter has that gasket stuck on there. Our new filter, we're gonna grab just a dab of oil and put it around the seal. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand this filter up to ourselves and up. Oh, we're gonna thread this thing on. All right, and what I like to do is I like to grab a fresh new towel and grab that filter and we're gonna hand tighten it, okay? So just gonna get this thing nice and hand tight. We don't wanna over torque it because we wanna be able to get this thing off. So hand tight and the, the clean towel will give you enough grip to go just hand tight with it. Let's get this through. And there we are, okay? So now we've got our drain plug all nice and clean. So we can move this over and up into here. And it's a little bit of a mess just because it's got a few little drips, but Go ahead and start threading the drain plug back in. And then get that cleaned off. And eight millimeter. And I have not, I was not able to find a torque spec for this. So I'm gonna go off a common torque spec of about 15 Newton meters of torque. It was on there pretty good. So we may go 20. So let's grab the torque wrench out and see what 15 feels like and maybe do end up with 20. All right, so let's go ahead and try at 15 Newton meters and see how this feels. So I think I'm gonna go, that was 23. So I think I'm gonna go, let's see, I don't know. It did, really didn't feel like it was too tight. So let's see, let's see how it feels. So that's 20. I'm gonna stop at 30. So of course we'll update these when we're 100% sure, but 30 is good and tight. Looks like that lock washer is nice and in there. So let's get everything nice and cleaned up down here and let's button up the fairing. All right, our final step is to get the fairing back on. So our little hose goes through the bottom and then right on the inside of this fairing, let me show you, you'll see that there's two little clips that's where this clips onto, okay? So this goes through the bottom. This clips into here. Clip and clip. And then go ahead and start getting the bolts on. Start with the top one. Number two. And number three for this side. 
get it up to the right height. So number one, number two, and then number three. And we'll go ahead and tighten these. My general fairing bolt is when it's tight and then an eighth of a turn. Good and tight, eighth of a turn. And good and tight, eighth of a turn. Back onto the other side for our final three. Tight, eighth of a turn. Tight, eighth of a turn. And tight, eighth of, ah, there we go, eighth of a turn. And that's it. So let's go ahead and get to the other side where we have our oil ready for placement. So uh, our oil and dipstick so the Aprilia does have a dipstick. So if you guys are looking for a window, there is no window. All right, so pull out the dipstick all the way and go ahead and get it nice and clean. And there of course shouldn't be anything on it. And now we're gonna go ahead and put in our funnel and start pouring in our 2600 CCs. Remember you're using 1050, not 1550. This is 1050. It's a little bit lighter weight. The jug was just empty, so I used it for a measurement reference. All right, so I've got just a little bit left, probably, I don't know, probably a quarter of a liter. So what is that? Um, I don't know, maybe 250 cc's left. So let's go ahead and pull out the filter or the funnel, add in our dipstick, and let's go ahead and get the bike started. let the oil run through for about five minutes and then we'll do a check on it and see if we need just that little bit left okay so we started the bike we let it run for about five minutes and it's been sitting for about i don't know 10 15 minutes so let's go ahead and check the dipstick and see what kind of levels we got so first time give it a clean and then put it back in all the way down until it's just snug and then uh, not too snug <laughs> of course it's like the wrong angle <laughs> and then back out and we're going to check our level here so we are actually right at right at the mark right at the mark here so let's go ahead and clean this off again. Nice and clean. All right, so that's gonna be add, that's gonna be full. Okay, let's go ahead in. Yeah, and we're right at the full. So just a tad below, a tad below the 2600, actually there's there's a little bit left. So, I mean, I kind of went, I don't know. I am i wasn't maybe right at 27, but, or 26, but I don't know. It's full, so that's what's important. So we'll let this sit overnight and we're gonna recheck it in the morning and just make sure, but that's it. Very simple oil change. One of the easier oil change I have to say in the collection, so. All right, there you have it. The very first oil change on the brand new 2021 RS660 is in the books with just over 200 miles. And uh, we're gonna go until 600 miles. And then we're gonna do basically a 600, the 600 mile service. And then we'll go at about 1500 to 2000 mile intervals from there on out. Uh, very easy oil change, basically 
30 minutes, probably max. Um, make sure that the bike is sitting overnight. Make sure all the oil's down, drained in the pan, uh, and then get it drained, fill it back up. Again, like I said, I think we ran it for about five minutes, so that should have been time to circulate through that uh, filter. And then we let it sit for about 10 minutes, but let's go ahead and check it in the morning before we go out for our ride. But thank you guys for sticking around for the very first oil change on the RS660. Uh, do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, ring the bell notification. Thank you guys for sticking around. I'm not gonna tell you about all the bikes in the garage because we've got so many of them and I've been saying it every video, but you guys definitely wanna to subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of fun. <laughs> we have a lot of motorcycles, but this RS660 is gonna be badass. So make sure you stay tuned, but thank you guys for sticking around and hanging with me in the garage for the oil change on the RS660. But uh, till next time, we'll see you then. Bye guys.